Okay, so I am here with a, another house update because I haven't really been able to do one for the uh, last couple of weeks. Anyone that doesn't know or you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Corey. My wife's name is Raquel. We moved to the Philippines from Chicago. Um, I was born and raised in New England and she is originally from the Philippines. So that being said, uh, my foot has been injured. I if you've watched the channel, then you already know that. But if not, then... Um, anyways, I injured my foot, so I haven't really been able to do too much on the house. Uh, so I didn't want to keep the main guy that we have working for a stop at all. So he, he still had work every single day, no matter what. So I just had him doing all kinds of uh, smaller jobs and building things inside of the house that we wanted to get done that weren't a top priority. I actually did a video on that regarding purchasing locally from little families or local businesses as opposed to big box stores. So you can watch that if you want. but. Now that my foot is better, not 100%, but I can limp around and I'm not bleeding. <laughs> um, that, that being said, I can actually help him so that we can continue working on the house. So right now we're actually extending the back patio. So originally we had a nice size square and then it comes into the pool. However, me and my wife constantly really enjoy having dinner out here. So we end up setting a table out by the pool and then um, we have to either pick up the table and the chairs every single night or every morning or anything or then we end up using the pool and the tables in the way and y you see what i'm saying so and then when we had some uh, family over last week it was just kind of cluttered so that being said we just decided to extend this rear patio and we're just going out by i think it's nine feet and then we're just extending the roof the same length so that it's going to overhang we put in another beam or post we're actually doing that today and then um, we're gonna have that tiled in the next couple days. Actually, we gotta go pick up the tile tomorrow. We, did, we don't have enough tile here, but we contacted the um, hardware store and they, they still have the tile. We did that before we poured the cement uh, to make sure we were okay. So they have the tile, so we're gonna go pick it up and then get it tiled. So it's not a huge project, but obviously I have to help him as far as building, you know, setting up the roof and the post and everything else. And yes, then we have the pool, which has actually been a little bit of an issue. So long story short, I'm gonna try to make it brief because it's, it's, it's gonna sound semi-boring. Um, for a week straight, every day I came down to the pool and I noticed I was losing a couple inches of water, probably maybe two inches or so. So that being said, we stopped the pump and the filter and everything to look for the leak we dug up all the pipe around the pool and nothing was leaking so then we kept let we let the water drain each night or every day to figure out where the water was coming from where it would stop and then it stopped right around the skimmer so after the water level dropped below the skimmer it stopped draining so that limited where the crack or the issue could be so then we got lucky you know when I, well bear with me here because when i say we got lucky it, it rained all night uh so the ground was all you know not muddy but it was very wet we come down to the pool in the morning and then we see green and brown water coming in from the skimmer so there was actually a good size crack it pulled away from the tile and there was a crack where the skimmer is the skimmer itself is fine but the the work around it actually broke uh so that being said when the ground filled up with water then it was pouring dirty water into the pool but when the dry the ground was dry then our pool was actually draining an inch or two every day so that being said we had to uh drain out all the water out of the pool not a big deal didn't take long of course we already got that most we got that repaired um we're gonna do the grout work tomorrow and then yeah there was a few additional spots inside of the pool that we wanted to take care of that we noticed when we had the pool filled with water uh, that we didn't like nothing major but either way i we should have water back into this uh monday or tuesday early next week so it's a learning curve i'm not upset or complaining because honestly i'm just ecstatic and happy to be here and i love it and the guys that were building the pool did an excellent job for what i paid i can't complain and if if there was an issue with something it's not like i paid a company out of manila 10 times the price to fly out here or take a boat out here to build the pool the guys that did it locally have never even done a bathtub i mean they do a decent amount of tile work but it's 
it's very small. I mean, they they had never done a hot water in a shower before. So when we when we had two lines and and actually had electricity to run to the box, they you know they didn't know. Um, so I'm not going to hold any of this against them. I don't even know what happened with the crack or why it happened. It's just life. Not a big deal. I. I could wake up and be upset about it and be in a bad mood or I can say, hey, okay, we learned something. We're draining the water out of the pool. We're gonna fix the crack and then put the water back into it. Not a big deal. I mean, I don't care that I don't have a pool for a week or so. I can walk right over to the beach. So I'm not gonna complain about anything like that. Okay, so now we're gonna head off to the gym. Uh, do me a favor and ignore the mess in the house. Uh, I'm painting the office right now, so I had the thing completely emptied out and it's all over the kitchen. So I think my wife is looking forward to me picking it up. And uh, yeah, I, got, I still got the paint down here, but I'm 99% done. There's just some corners I wanna touch up real quick, which I will do this morning. And yeah, so over here in the gym, I got all of these painted with the rubberized undercoating which is basically a, a fancy truck bed liner. In a nutshell, it's really not anything too crazy. Um, and then I actually built this. So I used to use one that was made by uh, Rogue Fitness and it worked really well, I loved it. I went to purchase it from Rogue Fitness and it was $315 and then there was tax and shipping. So to get the thing actually delivered to the Philippines, it's gonna cost me $400. Um, that being said, this, I took two pieces of one and a half inch angle bar. I did a triangle cut on each side so I could bend it down, welded it, and then put it in one inch pipe in the middle. So between the angle bar, which comes in 20 feet, the one inch pipe that comes in 20 feet, I used half roughly of the angle bar and I used less than 20% of the one inch pipe. Uh, so I'm into that piece for about $5 <laughs> compared to uh, 400. So. I'm very happy with it for for what it is for the five dollars as opposed to the four hundred, because me I uh, I don't care if it looks fancy or exotic. I would rather take the four hundred dollars and go on one or two vacations with my wife, versus having a fancy product in the jungle. That you know it really just doesn't matter. I mean, it has nothing to do with how how the item looks. Um, I'm not going to look back on my life thinking I wish I spent more money on stuff. I'm going to look back on my life thinking. Could I have built more great memories? Could I have seen more? Because that's the kind of stuff that's gonna matter. So I'll show you guys around the office when it's done uh, in the next day or two, but I stayed up till around eight o'clock last night getting this whole place masked, painted, took the curtains down, put the curtains back up. Uh, but either way, it's drying right now, so then I can actually put the office together and then it'll, it'll look a little nicer and I'll show it to everyone. So yeah, things are really good over here, like usual. Um, beautiful weather, happy, friendly people, and a lot of little projects going on. So we'll get the patio, that'll be done here shortly. Building some shelves out in the garage, got the office painting, still working on the landscaping. I'm actually gonna be helping the wife with that this week, uh, Thursday and Friday, we all, that's all we plan on doing so we can get it done. And we get some piglets actually. Uh, long story short, I wasn't planning on getting piglets, but our neighbor came to us and they were having a um, little financial problem or whatever and they didn't want to borrow money or, or ask for any money. They just asked if we could possibly purchase their piglets. Uh, but So with the price that they offered us, we said, yeah, absolutely, no problem. So we got a couple piglets and they're uh, running back and forth in one of the little fish ponds because they're empty anyway. So it's actually working out really well. And yeah, building some shelves out here in the garage being in the Philippines I like to have a couple projects going on at the same time and I'm actually OCD so I personally don't usually like multiple projects going on at once I usually like to get one thing done at a time and move on but with the weather the way it is it's gorgeous and then it'll rain for a little while and then it's gorgeous and it'll rain for a little while or it might rain for half a day which is kind of rare um, so I like to have at least one or two projects going on in the house and then one or two on the outside and then yesterday when it rained, no big deal. I worked in the office and we stopped in the patio. And then today it's gorgeous out, so I'm gonna go help him on the patio for a while. And then if it rains later, I can wrap up the shelves that I'm building in the garage and then you know put the office back together. But either way, we got a lot going on, but it's it's great. It's really enjoyable. I love the weather here. It's everyone's happy. It's everything's good. 
it, it's nice that I'm, now that I'm able to walk around and really start being able to get things done. Getting a little sore, but either way, I can still get things done. And it kind of stinks when you're you're building a house and you can't really walk <laughs> because then it's uh, I'm paying everyone else to do everything, which I which I don't like to do. I like to be involved and be hands on and helping. Uh, or you just stop production altogether, which isn't really an option. So you just kind of have to sit there and I'm not the kind of guy that just wants to sit there and point fingers, which is why I kept helping a little bit anyways, which probably, well, I know for a fact is why the my foot took longer than it should have to heal because I kept getting up and getting involved anyway. So yeah, either way, uh, thank you for watching and a lot more videos to come. I just got the... Uh, third bill for the solar so I'm going to put a video together in the next couple days here on a total because now that I've had three plus bills I can actually say hey here's what it's cost me for you know the 90 days here's my savings here's the total cost and actually do a return on investment or ROI for it so I had some figures that I was estimating but I didn't want to be one of those vloggers that just throw out a video saying is solar worth it or not and I've had the thing for two weeks it just doesn't make any sense to me um, I want some actual data to put together <laughs> and, and say here is the savings you know here's what I got and here's what makes sense uh, so anyways I'll get that video put together now that I have the bill and yeah it's beautiful weather Everyone's happy. I'm enjoying life. So I hope everyone else is as happy as I am. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.